So today's project, I'm going to take this discarded satellite dish uh, that was at our place when we bought it and use these components to do a small uh, solar panel array. Here's the uh, post mount right here. You can see I took off the back and just some cheap uh, solar panels uh, and a little inverter. What it's going to be is just going to be a little package that you can charge um, batteries up using a Yamaha charger for double A's or power drills or just run small appliances off of uh, with a little small battery backup. So I'll put this together uh, on the cheap and uh, see how it turns so out. So there's a lot of great stuff on here. You can see here that this is the looks like about a two inch post mount and then we have the uh, degrees of angle so we can change that. That'll work perfect for a solar panel. We have a, a good mounting bracket right there so using uh, some, what we have here, we've got these nice uh, this square tubing and good fasteners. I think there should be pretty much everything we need here uh, to mount up a real professional looking functional mount uh, for these little solar panels. All right, we pretty much cannibalized everything off of the satellite dish, but there's all kinds of good stuff here. Uh, brackets that we can use for mounting these uh, crossbars here are going to be just ideal uh, for holding the solar panels. And we'll just have to figure out some way to make a bracket to secure this, but should have pretty much everything we need here. So I found a couple pieces of extruded aluminum uh, that all that work out real good that will mount directly to the base itself. And then I've got these, the square stock off of the satellite, old satellite dish. So I'm just laying this out where I'll drill these holes and bolt this together and that'll be really solid and relatively weatherproof. If you're going to have one drill bit in your whole toolbox, uh, it's a step drill. I've uh, been using these, uh, just getting these cheap ones from Harbor Freight, and I've been really surprised how well they've held up. And they're just perfect for a job like this where you need to bore a really large hole. So the bolt we're using is to put these together is going to have a 7 16 head. So the, the hole, this, this hole needs to be large enough to get the socket in uh, to tighten down the bolt. Now here's a tip. Be, be really uh, diligent in saving and collecting all types of fasteners, nuts and bolts, and you know whenever you buy something and there's extra hardware packages or you you see by someone some of the garage sale, oftentimes you'll see big uh, boxes full of them. Keep these things, you know, and, and organize them. Bolts and and washers, you know, you'll come to this. It, it'll save you so much time and trouble all the time. And in uh, WROL, you know, you're not going to have access to these things. So they're really, they're just invaluable. And they can save you a long trip to the hardware store and lots of money just by taking a little time, organizing them somewhat, and just collecting them and always having them in, on hand. Okay, so we've got our two pieces of extruded aluminum here. And I've got the two crossbars from the satellite with our holes drilled. And uh, this is going to work out really good. I'm using these carriage bolts. So what a carriage bolt is, is a bolt with a round head. Let's see if you can see that here. Round head and a square uh, to keep it from spinning. And applications where you can't get to the back side of it, they're perfect. And I just found that these things just slide perfectly in this aluminum. And then I've drilled this out, um, the hole in the back to receive uh, the bolt, and then enough room to get the socket in there and tighten it down. And the nice thing about the way this slides here is when I put all this together, it'll give me some adjustability. So my solar panels will go across here and, and I, can, I can adjust those. And this will be really nice if I you know, upgrade to a different size solar panel in the future, either something a little more efficient or uh, a little better than what I'm using in this application. Um, I, I can reuse this mount, so this will uh, work out really good. So we'll tighten this all up together and mount the panels and then we'll mount this to the, the pole mount.
putting a little small set screw at the end of this extruded channel is just kind of a convenience thing. What it'll do is it'll, uh, when I'm working with it, prevent these from sliding out and uh, falling off and just uh, make things a little bit simpler and easier to work with. So now we've got everything put together. What this gives me is, is a really good, uh, durable, adjustable uh, mount using just scraps and things I've had uh, laying around the shop uh, that uh, is going to be, it's going to make it a lot easier to, to line up when I'm laying, or when I'm installing the panels that I have or uh, if to upgrade them in the future. I can move this to adapt to fit pretty much any small panel. All right, once we've got everything together here, I've uh, pre-drilled the holes for the solar panels and I'll just be using these small galvanized uh, screws and uh, square in this. Now this is the time I've got to tighten all these up uh, before I put the panels on and then we'll uh, mount it to the pole, pole mount. So I got the solar panels all mounted up, everything's tightened up and so now I'm going to install the pole mount. So I've got this laid out kind of where I want it and I'll drill these holes and that should be about it. One thing I really tried to do is to stay as organized as possible in my shop and have everything kind of categorized. I like to use these uh, red grips right here. You can get these things at Costco. Uh, they're made in Israel and I think they're like seven dollars or just something ridiculous. And they're perfect for organizing different things. Like here I have my home electrical tools. So if I need to do, do some electrical repairs or switch an outlet or a switch or a fixture, I can simply grab this thing and I have what I need. You know, in this particular toolbox, I have my, my DC electrical tools and fittings and everything. And so whenever I come across stuff, I just throw it in there and I'm always, uh, I'm always using it and I always know where it's at. I don't have to wonder if I have an electrical fitting that I need because everything that I own is in this one box. I can just grab it and go. So we've got our mount completed. It turned out really nice, really robust. It uh, looks professional and it will last, uh, be durable. It's not going to blow over in a windstorm. And I'm proud of it. Looks great. Happy, happy the way it turned out. So now I just let's go find a. Uh, see if we can go find a two-inch piece of pipe.